Something is stirring in Albany. Something is stirring. <laughs> Fam, it's Rachel and Rhea and we're the Gala sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we're 15 months apart or less. So it's Friday. You know what that means. That means we're going to look at some New York lawmaker. It's your favorite day of the week, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this New York lawmaker though is not a traditional lawmaker. Um, he's more of a appointed lawmaker. Appointed meaning like he's asked by, you know, such and such to say, Which no. means not elected. No. Appointed means not elected. It means you're just like given the job. Mm hmm And he has made quite a stir this last week, so we just had to talk about him. This was not the original person we were going to talk about. No, but you know what? Hey, we, we go where we're needed. Basically what we're trying to do is trying to unwind this web and whoever falls out of the web, we just basically talk about. Mm hmm do not give us people to talk about because we have an order. There is a method to our madness, especially when we reach the end. You guys will probably know who the last person is. Oh, you, I'm sure some of you already know. Because we're going to spin out this web. And mm -hmm. it's quite a web, guys. There's a lot of stuff in it. You have to make trips to web. You have to go through time and you have to go through different states. And it's all insane. And it's mm -hmm. all crazy. So, with that, We'll take a look at, at Jay, Jay Jacobs. Jacobs. Okay, you guys all know that Jay Jacobs had gone on this week that it was going to be some speculation he may run for governor. Mm -hmm. However, that did not happen. Instead, he endorsed Miss Madam Pretend Governor Kathy Hochul. So Jay Jacobs is the current chair of the New York State Democratic Committee. So the people refer to him as the head of the Demo the leader of the Democrats in New York State. So that's a pretty big position. This is a coveted position. It's he's no speaker of the assembly. You know, he's no majority leader, but he's no is, lieutenant governor. Yeah, he's no governor, but it's still a good position. He's not one of the three men in the room. No. I mean, we've only talked about one of the three men in the room. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have, because we haven't talked about the other two yet. But this man made headlines because of the fact that, like he said, he endorsed Hochul for governor. Yes. Now, people like Madam Boylan, yes, I called her Madam Boylan because I'm not very nice, have called for his head because, you know, they're not endorsing their little friend, well, Amy no, James. But there's more to it than that. When he went to go and endorse um, the little, the potted plant, so we call, she, he called former Governor Andrew Cuomo as a courtesy, and he announced that he made this courtesy before he endorsed Kathy Hochul. Now, what does this mean that he made a courtesy call to Andrew, and then this wonderful email went out soon afterwards, which we'll talk about later, but Andrew did send out a campaign email after that. Something is stirring in Albany. Something is stirring. The presence is not dead. No, and Jay, Mr. Jacobs, he caused a massive stir, as she just said, and basically what he did was slap in the face to A.G. Letitia James. And we will do a video on Letitia James later once we have enough information about her because she seems to be a mystery. Oh, she thought she had this in the bag. She thought, I got rid of Andrew and I'm pretending to go after Donald J. Trump. I'm going to be the next governor. It's definitely going to be me. And all the other options are pretty horrific. Nobody knows who Kathy Hochul is. Nobody would want her. And she was wrong. This is hilarious. It was hilarious because A.G. James was furious. 
beside herself. Probably throwing things, allegedly, you know, by herself. Here's the thing, though. Since this happened, Madame Boylan, who can't just shut her damn mouth and has to remain relevant for God knows what reason, um, wanted Kathy Hochul to fire Jay Jacobs. She ran her little butt over to the papers and started crying like a little bitch. She doesn't um come to us, so uh, I can't imagine why. You come to me, <laughs> I'll <laughs> laugh at you. And I'll just be like, yeah, uh-huh. And she's like, oh, Kathy Hochul needs to fire him. Why would you even think that Kathy Hochul will fire someone who just endorsed her? She wouldn't. She, and also, Kathy Hochul has already fired a whole bunch of people for you, Miss Boylan. She already has. She got rid of a ton of Cuomo people already. What will make you happy? Public floggings? I mean, seriously. <laughs> no, I think she wants to be governor, which will never happen. That will, <laughs> I bet she wants to be president. <laughs> oh, honey, no. Oh, honey, no. <laughs> So let's give you guys a little bit of a background on Jay Jacobs. Okay, so he was first elected to his position of Nassau, Nassau County Democratic Chair in October of 2001. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's been the chairman and been around the Democratic Party for a long time. He was re-elected Democratic Majority in 2001. 2002, 2005, and 2007. So this guy's really liked. Like, he must be really liked. He must be doing something right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and they've elected two county, let's see, two county executives, two district attorneys, three county comptrollers, three town supervisors, and one county assessor. So basically, he has ensured that the Democrats stay in power over the Republicans yeah. in New York. He also helped elect Kathleen Rice, um, who was the first ever female um, DA in Nassau County, which is on Long Island. Mm -hmm. I just can tell you that. It's on Long Island. He's really good at getting things done. Yeah, I mean, obviously he is. So, if Andrew Cuomo decides not to run for some reason, which we don't know yet... We don't know what's going on yet, guys. He could potentially get Kathy Hochul into a full term. Well, yeah, I mean... I mean, this is kind of what he does. Yeah, he's just very, like, he's just like a go-getter. Like, okay, I'm going to get this done, I'm going to get that done, I'm going to get this done. But Kathy Hochul just stands there and says... But it is a huge... That's this Kathy is, Hochul. This is a huge blow to A.G. James... Much to, you know, Boylan chagrin, and I'm sure that the um, beloved, awful Ron Kim doesn't like it either. I'm sure he doesn't. And we have another video to come out on Ron Kim, because we, we <laughs> discovered some information oh, about him. Oh, so much fun. This week was really great. And Kathy Hochul has since received the backing of many, many other big donors and people with big names. Mm -hmm. I mean, people are throwing their endorsements behind her left and right. But I still don't think she has it in her to win. I'm, I don't, I'm not saying I like her. I don't like her. But it is not looking good for A.G. James. And that's what we want. We don't want A.G. James. But we don't really want Hochul either because she's no. too conservative. It also came out this week that Andrew Cuomo was looking to replace Hochul. Kathy Hochul in 2022. That doesn't look good, guys. He wanted a black woman instead to, you know... Now, I've heard through the grapevine from a very reliable source that he actually wanted to run with A.G. James. I wouldn't be surprised. I've heard from a reliable source tonight. Mm. So as a journalist, we protect our sources. I had a suspicion of it long before we were told that. Now, this this um, this Jay Jacobs guy, um, he is the CEO of um, TLC Family of Camps and Inns, um, which includes sleepaway camps. And he started the Summer Camp Opportunities program promote education or scope program so this guy's kind of cool i kind of like this guy and you know that type of philanthropic work with children who need extra help it really reminds me of the work that matilda cuomo did yeah during her prime this guy kind of seems like a cool dude mm -hmm. and like 
I don't know, like, what, ha what, like, like we said, there, every single person in the Democratic Party in New York State actually did turn their backs on Andrew, and that was wrong, because you guys just read stuff, and again, we'll go over the whole AG report with you guys, it probably, I'm thinking next week, we'll go over a lot of what happened. Yeah, we will, and Mr. Jacobs kind of fascinates me a little bit, and I would like to know more about him, and he would be someone that I would cautiously welcome on this channel because mm -hmm. I would be interested in picking his brain. Yeah. And seeing exactly how he was so successful and how he navigated New York politics in such a great way. Yeah, I mean, in this an interesting way. This guy obviously is from Long Island because, like we said, Nassau County is in Long Island. I just know that. It's, the counties in Long Island are Nassau, Norfolk, and Suffolk. However, I do tend to agree with Lindsey Boylan that I think that his little stunt that he pulled this week there's more to it than meets the eye. And it concerns me, in all honesty, that at some point they say, you know what, actually, I'm running for governor. I could see him doing that. Or he might twist it in a, in a way that we might like. You guys, I think he may be trying to stick it to A.G. James. There's more going on here than meets the eye. Will Andrew run again? Probably. I, I think he will. And I think that people like Miss Boylan are suspecting that too, and that's why this move where he says, I called Andrew first, it's very interesting. I don't know. I just wonder that, like, what is actually going on? And then there was that picture of him and, and Cap of Kevin Captain. So something is stirring in a way that even we don't understand. And also, can I please take one question? Can I put this one question? It's October. It's after October 1st. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the report? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm waiting. Instead, there's also other big news that we need to share on this, and then we're going to like close this video because this doesn't want about this. Did you hear that de Blasio got indicted? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> he might be facing criminal charges. Oh, well for using the NYPD to help his children. Yeah, we'll do a whole video on everything he was oh. charged with, and I can't wait. There is only one way this week could have gotten better. Mm -hmm. But baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> yeah, so guys, obviously this video was really to kind of voice how we feel. Because we give you guys updates about these people periodically. I think next week is going to be a very special video. Then we're going to have to go back and visit some of these guys again. Yes. And you're going to be surprised at who we shook out of this web. Oh, it's going to be it's great. It's deep and nasty and disgusting. Pay attention. Because, oh, um, don't forget to watch our Tuesday video if you haven't. Please watch our Tuesday video and let us know what you think of it. Because, you know, we got to promote that video. And um, make sure that person finds out he has a video on her channel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to end the video here because there's nothing else to talk about. I mean, just kind of like a cool little yeah. fun video. Check in. If you guys like this video, please make sure that you give it the biggest thumbs up you can by clicking on that thumbs up. If you do not like this video or, you know, are a big Boilet fan, first of all, why are you here? And second of all, don't click on the thumbs down button because, you know, it still has an interaction with the channel. And why would you give oxygen to the garbage? Smash that subscribe button down below. Guys, let's try to get the channel to 800 by the end of next week. I think we can do it. Easy. But you're going to have to help us out with that. Also, please be sure, make sure that you watch that video, the video at the end of this. So that you can even get us even more watch time. Because the more watch time we have, the easier monetization becomes. You might want to also give that bell a big ring by clicking all so that you don't miss a moment of our uploads. Or when YouTube's not drunk and decides, oh, okay, well, I'm going to let you know. Because sometimes YouTube lets you know after you've already watched a video that happens to me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, generally, we post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. However, you can also find us going live or maybe doing a... Rally, which there's a rally coming up on this channel, and I'm really excited to do it. Mm -hmm. um, also, we are doing Vlogtober right now. 
because that means a vlog a day for 31 days in October. We will also be doing Vlogmas, which means a advent calendar for vloggers and bloggers. We participate in this stuff because we love it. Want to hear from us every single Tuesday? Oh my God. No, you can. We have a podcast on movies and TV entitled Gavin with the Gala Sisters. Also, come follow us on Twitter at the Gala Sisters, Instagram at the Gala Fam, Facebook at the Gala Sisters. We also have a website at www.thegalasisters.com with three different blogs. Go ahead and read that. As we have lots of information on there on what happened to Andrew Cuomo. So if you're not familiar with that, please go check it out. And make sure that you're sharing this video with your friends. But after you share it, then go and buy some of our merch if you're interested. We have great merch that we created ourselves. And we also have a couple TikToks. So we're pretty much everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. We will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.